Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want my help with growing and scaling your business, then there's a number of ways you can do that. You can reach out to me <coughs> by the description below this video. There's a number of ways you can get in contact with me to get help with your sports coaching business. Now today, I wanna to make a very short video to talk about how you can close clients quicker into your sports coaching program. Now, a uh, big problem that a lot of sports coaches have when they're looking to close new customers into their business is they long out the sales process to the point where parents don't wanna do it anymore. Right? And that, over the course of a month, you could be losing anywhere between three to 10K depending on how much traffic your business has uh, going into the, into the business, right? So what I want to do is I want to share with you a quicker way on how you can close customers quicker and what are the best steps to take in order to make this happen. So I break this down in very simple, simple form. Mrs. Jones has reached out to you through either your website, your social media page, uh, via email. And what you're looking to do now is you're looking to get on a call with Mrs. Jones. Right? A lot of coaches don't want to do this because they don't want to speak to clients. They prefer text message. But in order to build your trust with the client, you have to get on a phone call with them and express you know, your interest in working with them. So once you've scheduled the time with Mrs. Jones, the next step is to get on the call with them. And what you wanna do on the call is you wanna ask specific questions related to Mrs. Jones's daughter or son. Right? And what this does is this creates a, a, a client profile and it gives you more information about who you're going to be working with. Right? Also, this shows professionalism, it shows that you're organized and it shows that you actually care. So what you want to do is you want to have a sales script in place that when you get on the call with Mrs. Jones, you can ask specific questions about their child, right? That's the second step. The next step is you want to invite Mrs. Jones to a evaluation session. Now, some coaches do this for free. Other coaches uh, charge a minimum fee but you want to invite her to an a evaluation session so that you can see uh, Mrs. Jones' daughter or son in person. Now, once they attend the session, okay, you've, they've had the trial session, the evaluation session, you've provided Mrs. Jones with feedback. The next step is to get on a call with Mrs. Jones, and now we're looking to close her into becoming a new customer. So how do we do that? We schedule another very quick five to 10 minute call with Mrs. Jones. We talk about certain points where her child or daughter, um, son is at. And now we talk about the next steps. So we talk about the commitment level. We talk about what is included in the program and we talk about the terms and conditions. So what you wanna do now is you wanna send Mrs. Jones all the information via email. You wanna send her the terms and conditions so she can fill it out, send it back to you, and then you want to forward the registration page where she can sign up online into your program, okay? So this is a very simple, straightforward process where you can close clients quicker, and the more you start doing it, the, the easier it will become, but also it's important that you're filtering out certain clients that you then don't want to work with long term okay you need more help with this reach out to me i'll be happy to jump on a call with you see where you're at with your business and show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel